the red coats are coming. They have arrived. It's Portugal in Namibia, right here on the Hugging Anchor Breakfast Stadium. And now it is the side of Namibia in their beautiful blue. Namibia opened the scoring with a penalty through fly half Tian Swanepoel after just four minutes on the clock. And the ball finds the, uh, the uprights. First three points for Namibia, and we can hear the crowd what it means for them. Another penalty goal extended their lead, but Portugal rallied to secure a 37 22 victory. Despite the win, Portugal captain and inside centre Thomas Appleton acknowledged that his team needs to improve significantly for their upcoming clash against the world champions South Africa. Appleton cited the weather conditions as a contributing factor to their slow start. Namibia flanker Max Kashiego, who plays for rugby football club Los Angeles in the United States, praised his teammates for an improved performance compared to their previous defeat against the Vodacom Blue Bulls. He expressed his ambition to earn more caps for the national team. We did very well today. Um, a few youngsters that uh, got a chance today and uh, I think they did very well, yeah. It was tough. Um, obviously, um, it was hot out there. Um, I think... We stuck in there, the guys um, pulled together when, when it counted the most. Um, obviously we didn't get the win today, but um, I think we can take a lot of positives out of it. I think the set pieces went well today, um, except the scrums. I think a few uh, tweaks uh, that we need to work on uh, when it comes to scrum time. Um, I think the backs did very well today. Um, obviously we got a few opportunities that we didn't capitalize on, and um, yeah, I think we just have to work on that going forward. We really respect uh, Namibia, we know that they haven't played here since 2018, but still our first half was a bit tough. We were playing against the wind, the wing was pushing strong in the first half. On the second, uh, we had the wind, uh, the wind in our favor and we, we had to adapt and, and we made it through. Now we have a, a lot of stuff uh, to look into. Our lineouts weren't brilliant today, our strum was really good, uh, but we need to, we need to, to adapt some things. We were feeling a lot of pressure from the defense of Namibia and we have to, to adapt on that and we didn't. So we had to rely a bit on individualities, but we need to work a lot during this week to heading up to, to South Africa. Breakthrough here by Portugal. Offload is on. Analysts Henry Kanjo and Derek Human attributed Namibia's loss to a lack of concentration during the match. Last few minutes of the second half, we looked a bit rattled. There were moments in the game where we came back into it and faded out back into it. So uh, a lapse of concentration and then also a bit of inconsistency. I must say there were players who made their debut today that really put up their hand. Um, yes, um, Tian being the man of the match, however, if I'm to elect one, would have been probably uh, Dirkhat Pikes. He had a brilliant game for, for, for a debutant. I think if you look at the Namibia side, um, I think they did well on the set pieces today. They controlled the set pieces as well. Um, there was glimpses of, of brilliance as well. And uh, the backs got a good run and, and, and uh, forwards got good momentum. I think it was uh, just a few times that it was a lack of concentration, maybe in the defence that cost them points, uh, a try or two. Um, but overall, in, 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 if, if, if you look at the Namibia side, I think they can, can be proud and there will be a lot to take from, from this game, a lot more than they could take from the game against the Bulls. Yesterday's match marked Namibia's return to international test rugby on home soil since their 53-28 victory over Kenya in 2018. Castro Ulumbo, NBC Sport. Vendu